in Joshua chapter 8, in beginning with verse number 1, if you can stand with us. Uh, uh, I want to read eight verses here to start with this this morning. And think about believing obedience. And the Bible said, he said, And the Lord said unto Joshua, He said, Fear not, neither be thou dismayed, Take all the people of war with thee, and arise and go up to Ai. See, I have given unto thy hand the king of Ai and his people, and his city and his land. And thou shalt do to Ai and her king, as thou didst unto Jericho and her king, only the spoil thereof, and the cattle thereof shall ye take, for I pray unto yourselves, lay thee an ambush for the city behind it. So Joshua arose and all the people of war to go up against Ai. And Joshua chose out 30,000 mighty men of valor and sent them away by night. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, ye shall lie in wait. Against the city, even behind the city, go not very far from the city, but be ye all ready. And I and all the people that are with thee will approach unto the city, and it shall come to pass when they come out against us, as at the first, that ye will flee before them. For they will come out after us till we have drawn away from the city, for they will say, They flee before us as at the first, therefore we will flee before them. Then ye shall rise up for an ambush and seize upon the city, for the Lord your God will deliver it unto your hand. And it shall be when ye have taken the city for that ye shall set the city on fire according to the commandment of the Lord, shall, do, shall ye do. See, I have commanded you, Heavenly Father and Almighty God, as we stand before you, God, we pray, Lord, that you would direct our heart, our thoughts, Lord, this morning upon the Word of God. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your mercy, and we pray, God, that you would Help us join heart in heart, hand in hand, and bless our heart, bless our lives. God, just join us, Lord, through the Holy Spirit of God that we might walk and honor the Word of God from day to day. Help us, Lord, to live as one day we'd wished we had when we stand before the Holy Throne of God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. All right. There's two words that characterize Israel here. Uh, 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 previous uh, uh, the considerations really before uh, the Lord as he commands their unbelieving disobedience or their unbelieving obedience either way you want to look at it because they disobeyed God in the seventh chapter here in the seventh chapter if you want to back up you can back up one chapter and you're going to find a great deal of understanding in that chapter to help you understand this. Here they had went up. Now God had told them to go up there and he would give them the city of Ai. All right, but he had gone up there and they did. They went out against him and the Bible said here in, in chapter number seven that they went up there and they went up against him. And when they went up there, I'm not going to try to go over all of it, but when they went up, then they, they went up there and uh, they, they took and went to fight. But the Bible said here that when they come back down there, he won't know how that they had went. And he said, well, 36 men they killed. They killed them and they run all of the Egyptians, I mean all of God's people, they run them back down the mountain and they did not overtake the city of Ai. So here come uh, uh, the, uh, Joshua. He fell down on his face and he began to call on God and God told him simply, uh, he said, get up off your face. Get up and stand up like a man. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, 
He said, that ain't no place for you to be. Uh, he said, I'll tell you what's wrong. Uh, the reason you are not doing nothing, uh, he said, is simply because uh, you disobeyed me. He said, there is sin in the camp. Uh, all right, now I want you to think about something. Uh, here was thousands of men went up there uh, to whip a little old city uh, that God had said they could whip. Uh, but uh, it's just like our churches today. Uh, they can have a revival. You can have a revival. Uh, you can have the church you want. Uh, but here was one man uh, by the name of Achan uh, that was uh, holding that whole city, uh, uh, all of the Jews, all uh, that God uh, had allowed Joshua to bring over the Jordan River. Uh, and God had, had told them they could go up there, uh, but uh, Achan had stole uh, from Ai. He'd seen a Babylonian garment. Uh, oh boy, I'd like to have that. Uh, and God had told them not to take nothing out of there. But look in uh, this passage of scripture in chapter 7. Uh, you can start reading uh, there uh, in verse 21. Uh, he said, I saw the spoils a little, oh, a goodly uh, Babylonian, uh, Babylonian garment. Uh, he saw a little suit of clothes. Uh, oh, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I think I'll just steal it. Uh, that's, that's what he did. Uh, he just stole it. Uh, he just picked it up because God told him not to take it. Uh, oh, but he liked that. He liked the looks of it. Uh, so he just took it. Uh, it wasn't his. Uh, I don't care if it was a nail. Uh, I don't care if it was a dime. Uh, I don't care you know, what it was. Uh, it wasn't his to take. Uh, but God saw what the man done. Uh, if it ain't yours, I don't care if it's a pencil. Uh, uh, just like I was, uh, and I'm not pinning no roses on me. Uh, I went to the barber shop here, uh, oh, uh, I guess six, eight months ago, uh, and I didn't know, I didn't pay no attention to it. Uh, uh, the man gave me, uh, well, it's when I got these tables. Uh, the man gave me uh, uh, the pencil to write out a check for those tables. Uh, and uh, when I did, I just stuck it in my pocket. Uh, and I got to the house, uh, and I seen that pen in my pocket. Uh, I drove all the way down to his house, uh, or to his place of business, uh, and I left that pen in the door. Uh, brother, it wasn't mine. Uh, and uh, uh, next time I went and got a haircut, I, I asked William, uh, I said, did, did you get your pencil? Uh, he said, no, I didn't get your pencil. Uh, he said, uh, uh, no, I said, them pens are for advertisement of my business. Uh, he said, uh, I give you that pen for you to keep. Uh, I said, no, sir. Uh, I said, I drove down here. Uh, I left it in your door. It wasn't mine. Uh, brother, I want to tell you right now, uh, you take something, I don't care how little it is or how big it is. Uh, if it ain't yours, you better leave it alone. Uh, but Aiken, uh, he said, I saw that little suit uh, and boy, it looked good and I wanted it. Uh, and not only that, uh, but you look a little farther uh, in 21, verse 21. Uh, he said, I took 200 shackles of silver uh, and a little wedge of gold, uh, only 50 shackles. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, the silver was worth $130 uh, and the gold was worth uh, $490. Uh, and what are you talking about, preacher? Uh, I'm talking about uh, $620. Uh, he had a suit of clothes uh, and $620 uh, and he took them home uh, and he buried them uh, in the earth under his tent. Uh, brother, you can't bury sin uh, so deep that God don't know where it's at. Uh, brother, uh, it not only cost him uh, all of his family, look what it cost him, 36 men. Uh, died that day uh, and he was to blame for it uh, but not only that uh, but the thing about it was uh, AI was still standing uh, and here the uh, uh, old preacher uh, Joshua came down uh, and he said take him uh, 
take his sons, uh, his daughters, uh, all of his cattle, his mules, take everything he's got, uh, take them outside, uh, brother, take them outside the church, outside the, the, the congregation, uh, and brother, stone them to death, and pile stones on them, brother, stone them and kill them, and then burn them. Brother, you don't get by with sin. Brother, God knows what's going on in your life. But let's get to the message here now. They went up against Ai, and here, now God said, Joshua, Joshua, I want you to get this crowd straightened out now. I want you to go up against Ai. I'm talking about believing obedience. He said, now listen to verse 1. He said here, uh, verse 1 and 2, here was coming comfort now from the Lord. Why? Because the preacher man, uh, because Joshua said, uh, I got news from the Lord. Uh, He said, now, uh, what is he saying? Uh, He said in verse number 8, he said, uh, he said, and the Lord said unto Joshua, he didn't go to the people, uh, he went to the man of God. Uh, and he said, fear not, uh, neither be thou dismayed. Uh, but notice what he said. Uh, he said, take all, uh, take all, uh, he said, uh, of the people of war. Uh, in other words, take them uh, that'll stand for God. Uh, take them that'll stand for me. Uh, and he said, uh, he said, and arise and go up to Ai. Matter what was he saying? He said, take that to every one of them that's willing to fight, that's willing to stand for me. Uh, and he said, I have given unto thee the hand, uh, unto thy hand the king of Ai and, uh, and his people and his city and his land. I'm talking about believing obedience. Brother, what is he talking about? There's a lack of faith in our land today. There's a lack, lack of faith leads to disobedience. You've got to believe God's going to do something before God will ever do it. You've got to have some faith. Uh, and not only that, comfort comes through God's promises. Comfort will come. Look down in verse number 11. I didn't read that far. But all the people, even the people of war that were with him, went up. Why? They believed God's man. He said they went up and they drew nigh and they came before the city. And they pitched on the north side of Ai. Now there were a valley between them and Ai. You take there was a valley and there's two mountains. All right, why? They just took one, one man's word. And the thing about it was, look down in verse number three, what he said. Choose out 30,000 mighty men. What is he doing? Here's a valley. And he said, you take part of that crowd. I'm not going to go into the, uh, the uh, numbers of men that he put, but you can read it for yourself. You put part of them to the north. You put part of them to the west. Uh, you put part of them over here. Uh, and he said, hey, they're all asleep. They don't know what's going on. My brother, uh, he said, uh, you, uh, God's going to give them to give us the city. Uh, Brother, uh, he said, they're all arresting. Uh, uh, Brother, why? He said, there's a valley between us and them. Uh, Brother, that city uh, is sitting in there. Uh, But you listen to what he said. Comfort comes through uh, the power of God. Look in verse number two. Uh, He said, and thou shalt do to Ai and her king uh, as thou didst unto Jericho. Uh, What is he talking about? Uh, Six days you walk around. uh, But brother, listen. uh, He said on that last day, uh, boy, you toot your horn. uh, And the power of God's coming down. Uh, What are you talking about? Uh, Brother, when when it seems like it, everything's uh, uh, falling in. uh, Everything's caving in. uh, And you got nowhere to go. Uh, Hallelujah to God, brother. That's when God comes in. Uh, That's when God can pick you up at your lowest point. And God can give you comfort. And not only that, comfort comes through God's plan. 
God had a plan before he ever, ever talked to Joshua. See, God's got everything planned out for you. If you'll just believe it, look at verse two again. Only the spoil thereof and the cattle of thereof shall you take. Things were different here than it was down in Jericho. Listen, he said, the cattle you can take for yourselves, but lay thee an ambush for the city behind it. You don't take nothing in the city. You don't take nothing in it. But the cattle, look what he says, you can take. You can, you can take nothing like Jericho. No, no, no. They couldn't take nothing out of Jericho. Cattle, mules, donkeys, nothing. You couldn't take nothing. But he said, only the spoil thereof, the cattle thereof, you shall take for yourselves, but lay thee an ambush behind it. Brother, go and God gives you something, brother. God will tell you what you need. God will show you what you need. God said in Philippians 4, 19, He shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory. Brother, God, God's going to take care of His youngins. And not only that was the comfort of the Lord, but the thing about it is, it was a command not to the children of Israel, but it was a command to Joshua. Brother, listen. When God gives a man a command to himself, you better let that man carry it out. The thing about it was, look at all the way from three to eight. All the way from verse three down to eight. It said verse three. He got his 3,000, he got them, 3,000 mighty men. And then he commanded them saying, you shall lie and wait. You shall wait on them. And he told them, he said, all of everything, he got it in order. What did God say? God said, set my house in order and the rest I'll do when I come. See, God's house is not a place for foolishness. God's house is a place of worship. God's house is a place of praise and honor, but also now he gave this command to him, the men of war. Look what he said. So Joshua rose uh, and all the people of war to go against Ai. He chose them out of men of valor and he sent them away and he sent them out by night. He sent them out when everything was quiet. What's God going to do one of these nights? And one of these day, days God going to come it could be by night, it could be by day, it could be morning time, evening time, but one of these nights or one of these days, God's coming to take his church home. Brother, one of these days, God's coming and he's going to say, arise. But not only that, brother, he's going to come and he's told them to seize the city. Hey, obedience. Believe in obedience. They believe the man of God. They believe him. They put all of their eggs in one basket. Yeah, they had killed 36 men before. They had killed them and wiped them out. Well, preacher, this won't work. Well, preacher, that won't work. We've seen God work here in this church. We are gonna buy some land across the road, wasn't me, at a higher price. God virtually gave us that land in one way. God worked it out, and brother, we just paid cash for it. God's gonna work it out, and we're gonna do things. Our church ain't done growing. Brother, this church is gonna grow. I talked to a man this week. You can tell uh, when you see Jeanette, I called, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, that Pearson boy, uh, Bernus, Bernus, Bernus Pearson. Talked to him this week. Told others, brother, what am I talking about? Brother, what we need to do? Hey, if a preacher ain't doing nothing, nobody else ain't doing nothing. Brother, what we need to do is a lot of times you can't go on a, a, get in a car and go visit everywhere. But bless God, we got a telephone and we got 
a cell phone. Everybody's got them stuck to their ear. Amen. Why not call somebody to come to the house of God? Well, preacher, we just don't do that. I just ain't got time to dial them numbers to get somebody to come. That's a waste of time. I got other people to call. Amen. Ain't that if we're too busy doing other, uh, other people's business? Mm -mm. Mm. Number three. Now I want you to look at the conquest at Ai. Verse nine, on down. Joshua sent, Joshua therefore, he sent them forth. I ain't got time to read it all. But here, here he explained them forward. I'm, on, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. All right, so at, at morning break, and that crowd looked out. And they said, here comes that bunch from down there. That bunch of Jews, they ain't too smart. Boy, that bunch, ain't, they ain't smart at all. Uh, what is he talking about? Uh, he said, here they come, uh, and they ain't, uh, he said, they're from Moravian Falls, uh, and they ain't got too uh, much sense. Uh, you can put it all in a thimble. Uh, they, we whooped them and killed 36 of them uh, 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 just a little bit ago, uh, and they killed one of their men uh, and all of his family because uh, he took a little, stole a little bit of gold from us. Uh, uh, brother, look out yonder. Uh, there's a little bitty crowd coming up to, uh, uh, toward the gate. Uh, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to kill that bunch this time. Uh, I ain't going to send just a few out there. Uh, I'm going to send a whole crowd against them. Uh, so they opened up. Uh, and he said, now, uh, he said, let's go after them. Uh, but they didn't know uh, that they had about 5,000 sitting up there reading verse number 12. Uh, he said, and he took about 5,000 men uh, and set them in a lying ambush uh, between Bethel and Ai, Ai on the west side. Uh, and they had others uh, on the other side, uh, that lying ambush. Uh, and what was they doing? Uh, brother, they was lying in wait out there. Uh, brother, the devil uh, is lying in wait. Uh, you go out there uh, and you get away from the house of God. Uh, and the thing about it is, uh, it's easy to stay out Wednesday night. Uh, and it won't be long you're staying out Sunday. Uh, it ain't long uh, till you ain't even coming to church. Uh, but brother, what am I saying? This is, uh, they went out there uh, and they uh, opened the gate uh, and they went after Joshua and his crowd uh, just hard as they could go. Uh, and they left the gate open uh, and all the city of Ai went after them. Uh, and they said, come on boys, uh, we'll kill them all or just a few of them. Uh, but brother, when they left the gate open uh, and went after uh, all of them, uh, here come all of them uh, at the lying ambush, uh, went in and set the whole city of Ai on fire. Uh, and they had them uh, in between uh, uh, them, them at lying ambush uh, and them that was out here. Oh, Joshua turned around uh, and said, Ai, you ain't got a, a, a prayer, boy. And they began to slaughter them uh, from the front and from the back. And the king looked and saw that the whole city was burning. Does God have to kill you and take everything you've got before you'll wake up? He can do it. He can do it. He planned an attack, but he planned it. Look in verse 20. He planned it with the power of God. And when the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw and behold the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven. And they had what? No power. They had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back 
uh, uh, upon the pursuers, that was AI, I mean Joshua's people, they turned after back after AI and his people and began to slaughter them. And what did he say? And Joshua said in verse 21, And when Joshua and all of Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew the men of Ai. What did he say down in verse number 20, what, 29? Yes, the planned attack was all the way down. But he said here, what did he say? He said, look in verse 25, And so it was that all that fell that day, both men and women, listen, both men and women died that day. Everybody there, he said, for 12,000, he said, even all the men of Ai, all the men, everybody in the city, everybody, God killed them that day. But they just killed 36 men. Literally, they killed 37 and more. Because when Achan went up, you could have blamed that on it, but no. You can't blame sin on somebody else. Well, if he hadn't have went up there, if I hadn't have been running around with Achan, I wouldn't have done that. Well, the devil, if I, Lord, look, your son got me into that. Your boy, if I hadn't have been with him, I wouldn't have took him drugs. If so-and-so hadn't have been with him, I wouldn't have got drunk. It's all his fault. No, the devil didn't make you do it. You've done it because you wanted to do it. You don't blame sin on somebody else. Eve couldn't blame her sin on Adam. Adam couldn't blame it on Eve. And they couldn't blame it on the devil. They'd done it because they wanted to do it. Sin, the soul singular. Amen. Isn't that, isn't that, is that singular in the Bible? The soul that sinneth shall surely die. And it is appointed unto men wants to die and then the judgment. And the wages of sin. You know what your wages are? Wages are a pay, at reference to a payday. That, wa that wages are reference to payment. There's coming a payday. Ai, the king of Ai said, I got by with killing that mess of Jews. I got by with killing that, that bunch of heathen. Brother, I got by with it. God said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Joshua, in verse number 26, said he drew not his hand back, his sword back. Brother, he just kept a killing. He kept a killing. Why? He said, believe in his obedience. God said, wipe this city clean. Kill every one of them. Man, woman, child, everybody in the city, you kill them all. Now, do you believe in the death penalty? God does. The soul that sinneth shall surely die. You can live like a devil. Don't you expect your children to be no better. They see mom and daddy fighting, squabbling, hitting, beating, slapping each other around. Don't you expect them to be no better. And the thing about it is, and I'm going to close, the consecration of Israel, consecrated through obedience. Look what it says that before the altar, but listen. In verse number 29, listen. Here they got King Ai. They killed them all but him. So the thing about it was only the cattle, verse 27 and 8, listen. Only the cattle and the spoil of the city Israel took or prey to themselves. 
according to the word of God which he commanded to Joshua. Now look at verse number 28. And Joshua burnt Ai and made it a heap forever, even a desolation unto this day. It was never and it never can or never will be rebuilt. No record of it ever being rebuilt. But listen, and I'm done. And the king of Ai, he hanged. He kept him. He kept him so all of Israel could see. All of them that didn't go to war, he said he hanged him until the evening tide. And as soon as the sun was down, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city of Ai. And then I listen. And he said, Arise and raise thereon a great heap of stones that remaineth unto this day. But then look what he said. I'm on, I want you to do. I want you children of Israel now. I want you to do as monument unto God. I want you to do this. And you can go to Deuteronomy chapter 27 and read it. And the Bible says, and he said, you go, you do this. He says in verse 30, And Joshua built an altar unto the Lord God of Israel in Mount April. And he said, And Moses, a servant of the Lord, commanded the children of Israel, as is written in the book of the law. He stood there and he read it. And he read that and listening to the law of Moses. That would include all the women and the children. And Israel went forth to conquer. After that, they went forth conquering and conquering and conquering. Why? Because they had believing obedience. They began to believe God again. They believed to trust God. Why? Because I believe they seen what God done through Joshua, through believing obedience unto God. What God done there through Joshua. What God did through Achan. Yes, disobedience took Achan and all of his family through Joshua standing for the word of God. God has his word. And God said there as he read, I mean Joshua said there as he read it, the word of God. He wrote it and he read it and he said it there and afterward he read all of the words in verse 31. Blessings and cursings according to all that is written in the book of the law. And there was not a word of all that Moses commanded which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel which the women and the little ones and the strangers that were conversant among them. They read it, they stood there, and they listened as he read that before them. And they were obedient. Let's stand. This morning, as we think about the book of the law and the law of God, yes, we need the Old Testament. Yes, we need the law of God. Heavenly Father and Almighty God, God, if there's one or more, in this room today, Lord, that's not obeyed the word of God. God is not yielded, Lord, to the truth of God. God is not giving obedience or not yielding and believing obedience, not living and being obedient to the word of God. God, may they come. May they come today. And Lord, God yield their self. Lord, in Romans 12 and 1, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, 
which is holy, which is, uh, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Oh, Lord God, I pray today, God, that we can yield our bodies. God, yield our heart, our soul, God, to the work of God. God, I pray today, God, that we could be obedient servants. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God, for the power of the Holy Spirit. We praise you and we love you. In Christ's name, amen. Appreciate you.